Hey guys! What's up, peeps? Sorry, I just ate a salad. Okay. Go mm -hmm. ahead. You start. You tell. Uh, so we just wanted to talk about. Uh, we're getting a, you know quite a few questions about. Um, is there something going on there, Michelle? No. <laughs> so we're getting quite a. Uh, she's like holding. She's like I don't know. Uh, we're getting quite a few questions about um, GoPro mounts. So as you guys on know, on the new foam board. Yeah, sorry, on the new foam board. So um, as you know, with our high-end boards, uh, you get a GoPro. It's actually kind of done in manufacturing. So it's inserted, and then you just put the little doodly thing on, and it it holds your GoPro or your water camera. Um, <laughs> well, that's what it's called, do Deli. Very, uh... <laughs> yeah, professional name, do Deli. So it fits on the front. So obviously with the um, with the foam board, the Grom that we just bought out, and we don't actually have a Grom here, which is um, just classic, because Daniel Carr took our last one. Thanks, brother. <laughs> um, so thank Doc, um, Captain Koopman, Dr. Koopman. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what are, you guys are going to have to imagine. Um, so because it's foam... This is like any other, um, if you're, uh, you know, if you know how to um, do this with body boards, it's pretty much exactly the same. So essentially what you would do is you would just pick, you, you get your board, this will be a foam board, not the hard board, and please don't do this to a hard board. Um, but what you would do, right? what, put a, a screwdriver through this? <laughs> it's going to be hard, but like you'll ruin your board. Um, so what you do is you take the Grom. And uh, the great thing about it is it's your choice. You can put it absolutely any way you want to put it. And um, so you get like a little piece like this, which will look almost exactly like that. And you can look them up on Amazon. Um, they're like a couple of bucks. Can they're really not sure. expensive. And so what you do is you, you get a screwdriver. You just jam it straight through your board. And you connect the top or the bottom to the top. And you screw it in, and then um, it'll have the you know the little uh, connection that you would have got with that. So that's how you connect your um, your GoPro, or the most efficient way to connect be... your. Um, so it'll just sit on like that. La la la. Uh, we suggest that you put it on the front um, and facing back. That seems to be the best that we've come up with. There's also cool <laughs> positions you can put it on the side here. In fact, um, instead of with the, with the Grom, because these are basically the, um, what are these called again? No idea. The, Michelle, um, you found it. Mount. Out. Yeah, the mount. Okay, so you can actually use the mount. Uh, you can take the, the, um, the mount that's actually holding your strap in, you can replace it with the GoPro mount. So then you got your GoPro right on the side here. I mean, if that's what so, you like, but we prefer it on the front and facing back. Um, um, so what would I Google on Amazon to find that? I Apple would Google, I um, I would Google if I was you, uh, bodyboarding GoPro mount because yeah. it's the same thing. Now, our boards are thinner than a GoPro, than a, than a bodyboard. So you see this, it just unscrews like that. It's really simple. There's nothing to it. Okay. It's just a screw male and a female plug. So obviously like when you screw it in, it's going to be a little bit longer, but you know, so it's <laughs> going to be protruding from your board. Just cut that like it's really simple you can just cut it with anything like a pair of pliers or or what have you and 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 then just screw it so that it actually fits in tight to your board as you can see this is these are actually done to our boards specifications so you just you screw it in that's how thin our board is obviously a body board is probably about that thick so um that should if you have any problems with that like you know, you can always just email us and, and ask us. And I think eventually um, we'll have a YouTube video. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll, guys, like a yeah we'll definitely do a do YouTube, YouTube video with all. Obviously, we don't have the board with us. Now, um, when I say just jam a screwdriver in, I know it's actually quite, I've done it before, and especially um, with a high-end body board or anything like that. It's kind of, you, you just paid a bunch of money for this, and now you're going to stick a, a screwdriver through the foam inside is closed cells, so basically it, it rejects water. So don't worry about that. Um, and it's how you're supposed to do it. So you just gotta boom like that. It may not look pretty, but it all gets all Shame. that gets hidden by this stuff. Here. Comment below if you think us adding a ten or twenty dollar add-on for us to do it for you might be an option. 
for us to do. If you think that's yeah. a good idea, we may be able to do it as an add-on option. Yeah. So, come so and um, you know, we've just bought out the uh, the Groms, so quite obviously, like, we haven't quite got into all the extras that you can add on, and that stuff will definitely be um be coming so um yeah just keep an eye out but for now we're just we don't we don't sell we don't that want to do it. Yeah. yeah um and another thing so for an update on our kickstarter we are at 243 backers we are at 16,866 so um I think we're at almost 400 and we still have 15 days to yeah. go so 15 days to go so make sure you share we have the stretch Ooh. goals coming ups guys are coming in up oh. yeah. shout out to defin <laughs> oh it's a defin i know you were doing selfies uh, uh, we're doing a uh, facebook live <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much let's show everyone what we got then Ooh, a proper uh, thin unboxing. Is it the thin? Yeah, okay. I just ordered these. All right. <laughs> Ta da! Ooh, so we got uh, so, the black and red. The camos are in. I think we got all blacks, reds, camos. It's Zach like Christmas oils. every day. We're always getting stuck like this. So, we're stocked. Stocked we up. Um, so, yeah, back to Kickstarter. We are halfway there. Yeah, because 30 days. So, we're halfway done. So, if we keep on track, we'll hit all our stretch goals, get all the colors. And then, um, so we wanted, no, don't wake up. So, we wanted to read off. Um, Midget's waking up. It's also our fifth, our first year anniversary from Shark Tank on the 15th, so in four yeah. days. Um, so in honor of that, we have um, an ink article coming out um, with a follow-up on how everything's been. And um, Ashton was interviewed for that. So we're going to just share with you some quotes from Ashton yeah, of what he that. said. No, because that got cut off, remember? Mm -hmm. So... If you guys are interested in what Ashton said about us, keep listening. So, <laughs> <laughs> if not, log off now. Is it, and um, your piece. The writer asked Ashton, "Have you ever, you've never invested in a product like Slide? What convinced you about the business to invest?" And he said, "I made a couple of investments in the consumer goods space, but mostly food and beverage." Slide is a bit of an outlier for me. I think the thing that put me over the top was how driven the founders are uh, and how differentiated we the product is. <laughs> that's what we were missing the yeah. last time. <laughs> um, and then he asked, was asked, have you been heavily involved in Slide's affairs or have you given free reign to the owners? And he said, my, personally, my personal philosophy around investing is that if you invest in the right people, it's your, in your best interest to be helpful but not overbearing. I've done some consulting with them on their marketing efforts and distribution, but these guys run a tight, beautiful business. Yay, tight, beautiful. So, um, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Look out for that ink article. should be out in the next day or two, and you can read off all about it. Cool. Uh, another cool thing that's coming up... Um, I'm actually just working on right now and you can see it on Instagram stories it's the last one that I just posted is um, this dog should not be through here because he's been a bad bad dog um, is the Rafki uh, Sanchez story which is a very it's the tales of recovery and it's an awesome awesome read on um, a uh, on Rafki who uh, basically broke his back um, he's from Puerto Rico and a uh, great surfer and he hit, um, he hit the ground pretty hard and uh, I would definitely suggest reading it because um, it just makes you very thankful for having everything um, go right every time you go out, you know, because, it, you know, stuff can go wrong sometimes and... Uh, <laughs> Um, like, so, you be, yeah. like doing a Facebook live yeah. with you. <laughs> why don't we give it? <laughs> Auntie. I don't know why we don't give it to your aunt. It's fine. I just took it off. No. Yeah, but um, she needs it. 
Auntie. That guy. Well, anyway, so that's uh, that's our live. Um, as you can see, by yeah. UPS came oh. in, then they phoned us. They were only trying to wreck our live stream. <laughs> <laughs> then Defin came in. They ruined everything. And then us woke up. And then woke up. up and came, Cowboy came through and like grunted and made some weird noises because he's unhappy with his current situation of being banned to the uh, to the other side of the room. This so. is what it's like every day. Yeah. <laughs> So, see if we can put a GoPro on this. Yeah, you just to. You, you insert it right there. Okay. Oh no, she's not. She doesn't think it's funny. Okay, cool. Thank see you guys. You really see appreciate you, you guys. Um, uh, logging on, I guess. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you uh, pierced uh, again. <laughs> Ruining but, stuff. Bye, everyone. Let okay. me get this later. Oh.